following is a video presentation by the Woodrow Wilson Center's Environmental Change and Security Program. Issue 13 of the Environmental Change and Security Report features a set of commentaries on new directions in demographic security. Seven demographic experts analyze the links connecting population and environmental dynamics to conflict. In the following short video, Jennifer Dab Shuba, Mellon Environmental Fellow in the Department of International Studies at Rhodes College, discusses her article on population and defense policy planning. Population age structure trends aren't the only dem uh, demographic trends that the Defense Department's interested in. Migration is another important one. And again, when we look at the hotspots around the world today, we see migration as a major aspect. Um, not only does conflict drive migration, migration can also induce conflict under certain conditions. And so, as we have more people in the world, which we know we will continue to have, it brings people closer together. And with the economic trends that we're seeing today, people are more likely to move in the future, and that can create tensions. Because whenever people move, they don't just move themselves. They also move their interests, their political interests and their personal interests. And those at times can cause conflicts. Now, migration is difficult for the Department of Defense to I guess project into the future. It's difficult for demographers to project where migration will happen. But it's an important intellectual exercise, I think, for the for DOD to think about which of its combatant commands are most likely to experience migration and conflict links. The final thing I want to talk about is the future of demography and defense planning. At the combatant command level, the combatant commanders have the unique opportunity to see in action the ways that demographic trends interact with things like water stress or um, just lack of development in general. And now that demography has become a more legitimate area of national security, I think we'll see in the future that the combatant commanders will really start to shuttle those observations back up to the highest levels of DOD. And they may in the future make their way into defense planning in even more robust ways. The new Africa Command may be an example of this because we all know that in Africa there are a lot of demographic and environmental stresses. And Africa Command will certainly have to take those into account. Robert Gates has put a lot of emphasis on development as a key to peace. And the Africa Command may be that one area that brings together issues of demography, the environment, and development and then sends those observations back up to the higher levels of DOD. So demography will have a greater role in defense planning in the future, I believe.